Hello and welcome to another tutorial of Current Safe Technologies tutorial series. In this tutorial, I would like to show you how you can create an IceCast target using security images with iStorage Server. First, we need to open iStorage Server Management Console. Click on the Create button. In the target wizard that just appeared, choose hard disk and click next button to continue. Here, please choose security images and click next button again. In this window, please specify where you want to save your security disk. And of course you can change its size. After writing down the path and size, click next button to continue. Here, choose CHAP authorization and please uncheck inherit security roles from global settings because I want to add a new CHAP user and I will manually set up login and target secret. Now, please next to continue. In this window, you can change target's name to something more familiar, for example, secure this one, and click finish to finish creating target. As you can see, we have successfully created IceCast target using security images. Now we need to create a new chap user for this target. To do it, please click on the Users in the left side panel. Click right mouse button on empty space and choose New User. Type username and target secret. And please keep in mind that name and password are case sensitive so it won't bring you any troubles in the future. Also it is recommended that IceCast password should be between 12 and 16 characters long, but still you can use shorter password if you want. When you will finish please click OK button. Now switch again to your target we just created and click on the CHAP tab, right click on empty space and choose add item. Click on the username you just created and of course we can choose access rights to that user. I will choose full access and press OK. We just finished setting up our server and now we can switch to our client. Now, when we are on the client machine, let us connect to the target we just created using IceCast Initiator. You can turn it on by clicking on Start button and start typing Initiator. When you will turn it on, please switch to the Discovery tab and click on Discover Portal button. Enter the IP address of your server. And please don't click on this Advanced button because here you can specify a logging credentials only for Portal, not for the target. And we created a CHAP authorization for an IceCast target itself. So providing that information here would be incorrect. Now please on the OK button to continue. Switch to the target tab and as we can see we have successfully discovered our target and we can now connect to it by clicking on connect button. Finally here please click on the advanced button and provide your CHAP username and target secret. Please keep in mind that username and password are case sensitive. 
after you type them down click on the OK button to continue and click on the OK button to connect. We are now successfully connected to ISCA started but now we need to initiate and format new disk. To do it head to the disk management you can open it by right clicking on computer and choosing manage when the computer management window will appear on the left side panel please click on disk management and automatically a window with initializing disk will appear just click on the OK and now our disk is online but we need to partition it we can do it by right clicking on our disk and choosing new simple volume and follow all steps provided by wizard after creating new volume we need to wait for it to format and after it will be formatted we can easily access it from my computer and from now on we can use it as it would be a normal local hard drive even if it is an encrypted ISCA security image on a remote server everything just works transparently to the user thank you for your attention that is all I have prepared for today and talk to you soon